What is up? Get ready for Judge Anime by its cover, Fall 2017. So we did this at Anime Boston year after year. We would review the next season's anime Mm -hmm. based on... Basically nothing. Yeah, so the in Anime Boston took place in the spring, so we're usually rev- uh, previewing summer seasons of anime. Uh, but since we didn't go to Anime Boston this year, it kind of felt sad to miss a year of this. And we said, why, why even wait a whole year? Let's yeah. do this every season, four times a year. Let us look at the anime that are coming out each season before the season starts and pass our judgment on them based solely on the title, a single image, a studio, and like a short description which happens to be available from the excellent website, AnnieChart.net. So, uh, and I just want to say, we've done this a bunch of times over the years. We have like a 90% hit rate on accurate reviews based on this scant amount of information. Right. The whole point is that they say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You should or definitely judge a book by its cover. But at least when it comes to anime especially, you can judge them by the cover. So thank you, Annie Chart. again. We're going to go through the fall 2017 season now, uh, one anime at a time, and see how they're going to be. All right. So first anime we have is Kekai Sensen and Beyond. <laughs> I like that description. The second season of Kekai Sensen. Right. So I don't know anything about the first season of Kekai Sensen, but it's from Studio Bones. Yeah. It's based on a manga, and this seems like a really generic anime. Yeah, that, that screenshot, there's there's like boy with a deal, like he's got a, something in his eye. There's a uh, glass-eyed girl, yeah. and is that a robot? I can't tell. I don't tell. know. Action, adventure, fantasy, supernatural. This is just... Anime hero people. I mean, this is the most typical I mean, anime it, it, there ever it was. It couldn't have been the worst because it got a second season mm-hmm. and it's based on a manga, meaning that it's based on something that probably has a little more staying power. Yeah. I've never heard of it, but you know, if you're looking for a run of the mill anime that, you know, is is the kind of thing that ever you know, full metal alchemist style kind yep. of thing. They did bones that's also studio bones, right? I think so. I don't remember. So, that was it, a long time ago. That We're was a very old. long time ago. But anyway, there you go. There's your generic anime for the season. Yep, it's the one. All right, next Mahotsuka. anime. I know you. Oh, this is that uh, wife of the Magus Bride. All right, anyway, this description for this one: Chise has lived a full li- a life full of neglect and abuse, far from the warmth of family. Then all hope is lost. A fateful encounter with a man with a beast head wielding strange powers. Uh, it's, already, it's not just a beast head; it is a beast skull head. Uh. It is Skeletor. Fa- it's Skeletor. This uh, reminds but me, but it's hot Skeletor. I mean, it, a little bit of, you know, just based on that only, a little bit of Guin Saga, right? Guin Saga is about the guy with the cheetah head yeah. or the, is a leopard head. I don't know. He's some sort of dangerous, you know, cat head, right, in, in Guin Saga. And here yep. you have a dude with a, da- a mysterious skull head dude uh, rescuing some girl. I feel like this might be, it says fantasy, but this might be in monster boy genre. Yeah, but it's not a boy. It's a, it's a girl, right? A monster, mysterious man who I will romance. Uh, I don't know. It, okay, he acquires her through a slave auction. Uh-huh. <laughs> and his, her life will never be the same. Yeah, something something's up here that, you know, doesn't seem completely right. It seems like on the one hand, you might have this fantasy thing going on that might be cool. But on the other hand, you got this creepy dude plus little girls uh, action that's eh. not good. It mm. looks, I don't know, it looks more uh, high concept and tasteful based on this single image Yeah, it has got. a little bit of Vampire Hunter D feels as yeah. well, right? Because the, the dude is all with his cape and whatnot. Right? I would give this one episode. All right, you give it your one it's episode. It's above the line. You know? I never heard of Wit Studio, though. Yeah, but you know Maybe what? Maybe that's just because we don't know studios. Hot Skeletor Monster Boy. Hey. All right, that's your guy. All right, let's move on. All right, DS Irae, or Dies Ira, or I don't know how to pronounce this. The studio is ACGT, something Red Army, Nazis. Hot, hot guy. Is this set in space? I can't tell where this is. I don't know what's going on here. A lot of proper nouns. The LDO, something about everyone who remains in the city will lose their minds, recurring dreams of guillotine murders and black-clad knights. Is this some, like, military fanboy situation? Is it based on a visual novel? Mm. Okay. This isn't based... I don't think this is based on one of those uh, have sex with someone visual novels. This is definitely based on one of those, like, bunch of people die ultra-violent visual novels is what I'm guessing. I don't know. It definitely doesn't seem that exciting. It's like the, uh, the first one we looked at was, like, the most generic anime you've ever yep. seen but i right? liked generic anime right. like everyone like that's kind of how you get into anime is watching some super generic but this show. is like a mediocre anime where yeah. 
like everything about it is sort of like anime style, but it doesn't even do a good job, and it's just this, it's just appealing to some fanboys. No, this will have that like very small but ultra dedicated fan base. This is the kind of show where I feel like the small number of people will cosplay the fuck out of it, and no one else will know what it is. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's keep going. I'm not watching this one. No. Shokugeki no Soma San no Sara. It's the third season it of has Shokugeki the, no Soma. The, it looks like already, based on the image, the way a cooking show or a sports anime would look. But it also says that it's a comedy and it's also ecchi. Uh, mm. Third season of ecchi. Yeah. I don't know. Is it? It's not a harem situation because it's not one dude with a million ladies. It seems like there's a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a lady. Yeah, it's like, uh, so I don't eh, know. Eh, the, all right, so under that guy's arm, because you know, we, so in the when we first did this panel, mm-hmm. we noticed how depending on how they render certain parts of especially a girl character mm-hmm. in the promo art, you can guess if the show's creepy or not. That's a creepy boob. Mm. The show's going to be like, oh my God, it I fell on your... It says it's etchy right there. Yeah, but the show's going to be like that boring, oh my God, I fell on her chest kind of etchy, I think. Yeah, it, it, I mean, the fact that it's a comedy and etchy gives me a Love Hina kind of expectation. Love Hina was not Except good. Except this seems a little more closer to some, you know, the, some, some action deal, right? Well, it got yeah. three seasons, so somebody's watching this. Somebody's way into this. All right, well, it's not me. All right. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so it's Black Clover from Studio Perot. Yeah. All right, young boy dreams of being the greatest mage in the kingdom. He can't use any magic. He the gets incredibly a, rare Five Leaf Clover Grimoire. Ooh, gives him the power of anti magic. Whoa, so this is a reverse wizard show. Yeah, uh, it looks like. It's you know, a Korai. He's got the Book of Korai. <laughs> no one knows it. No one who's <laughs> no. watching this knows what that is. Uh,. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it looks like a fantasy anime. Okay. Wait, no. So he has the power of anti magic, and he wants to become the wizard king of Wizardland. Mm. Look at look at that. There's a in this image. I see a bunch of stock fantasy characters who are all different and all have a deal. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling this kind of. Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, you know what I feel like this is gonna be like? Scrap Princess, those kinds of shows. The thing is, even though everything about it screams fantasy anime, the listed genre is action, so there could be lots and lots of battles involved. Yeah, of anti magic versus regular magic. But unlike, how say, strong is the five leaf clover? Oh no, he discovered something else about it. Now he's more powerful. Unlike, say, Claymore, which had a lot of those attributes, but was super, super boring in the end. This looks like it has more chance to actually be a good at. I feel like it is going to be more like Scrap Princess thing than uh, Claymore. Mm-hmm. Definitely a Scrap Princess kind of deal. I feel like I would watch this. This is the kind of show I would skip class to you're watch. Wa- in you're college. watching lots of anime. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what other anime Rim is going to watch. <laughs> oh, this, oh, this oh, is yeah. the show. So I guess this is cheating because you can't be judging it by the cover. So if I, I can read say this, the manga. Having read a bunch of the manga, the three genres listed here are 100% <laughs> accurate. Right. Action, sci fi. <laughs> Psychological. So, all right, so since I've read the manga, or just a whole bunch of it, let me just tell you the deal, right? This is the anime of the season. There's no, I can't even imagine anything that could come up later in this list that would be better than this. When someone described the manga to me, I was in from so page it's, zero. So this is Inuyashiki, right? Basically, the story is this old man who's really sad, his family sucks. Uh, he's walking the dog, the dog he loves in the park. The only joy in his life is this dog. Right. Spoilers for episode one. Uh, aliens come and accidentally murder him. So they're like, oops, oops. What do we do? We're going to get in trouble. Just put him back together and let's go. We don't, ha- we don't have anything to make him with. Oh, we have just military junk. Just put it together. So this <laughs> old man wakes up and realizes he's not himself. He's some super powerful robot that looks exactly like himself and has all his memories and his personality and everything. Oh, and because, you know, does the dog die? Spoilers, the dog does not die in that incident. Dog's yeah. still there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this suddenly this old man who had this really shitty life suddenly is like a super-powered cyborg. Oh, my God. The show is good. It's dark. It's hyper-violent. It goes, it goes crazy from there, right? That's all. I mean, it starts with aliens right at the beginning. You can imagine where it goes next. The manga escalated rapidly, and it was real good. If what you I watch so one anime this season, it's this anime. Inu- yep. Inuyashiki, Studio Mappa. Good job. Not Inuyasha. <laughs> no. Do not confuse it's them. It's all one word, Inuyashiki. Anyway. All right. Himoto 
Exclamation point. Um, Umaru-chan R, the second oh. season of Umaru-chan. All right, Umaru-chan, people said it was okay. I've seen this character, the the girl with the orange blob. We were we had a few concerns about what this show might be. We were worried that it might be a weird and lowly, but it didn't seem like it went that I way. I think it's more along the lines, you know, you have Azumanga Daio, yep. you have the Nichi Joe. This is like one step is, down. This is underneath that one, right? It's yep. like the cute, silly show, slice of life with weird characters, but, you know... It's not quite as bad as Chobits. It's above Chobits. It's more of it's coming out, and no one I know has any strong feelings about it. Yeah, I do see the character, though, around on the internet, so it's something I guess people are into. I mostly see the character in the 4chan adjacent spaces of the internet, and I don't see it anywhere else. Well, I mean, else. you saw Yotsuba in 4chan adjacent spaces. Yeah, but Yotsuba, Yotsuba is the best. Yeah, but I also saw Yotsuba independently everywhere. Mm-hmm. All right, well, whatever. Not super enthused. We'll see. All right, Just Because from Pine Jam. It's a romance anime of some kind. So that scene, it looks like... Uh, it's an original anime. It's not based on anything. But instead of sad clouds and a beautiful skyline, it's train station. Mm-hmm. So a news transfer student comes to his school really late in the school year. They're all seniors, and they're going to graduate. But a transfer student shows up, and ooh, romance. Huh. Hard mm. to say, actually, with this one. These I'm really curious way. how many episodes this is going to be. Because like, if this is really short, it could be really good. But if it's like 26 or 13 episodes, that might be too long. Yep. Right? If it's like a... I guess it's... these. None of these are OAVs, by the way. We're only doing the TV shows, not Romance the movies Romance shows like, can only go long if they escalate rapidly and like get past the will they date, will they not date like right, right. away. And since this is about high school close to graduation, I feel like gra- it's one of those ones where graduation is the last episode. What was the anime we liked with the big guy who wants to date the tiny girl? Oh, uh, my, uh, my Hime or whatever. Is that Something it? like that. Something I forget like the name that. of that. I didn't even watch it all, but I really liked it. I watched it. Oh, uh, my love story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Loves- yeah. That's the big guy. And little girl is great because it's like, Oh, they're dating right away pretty much. And then, yeah. Like you, cause you, when you watch a romance anime, you sort of expect that Kare Kano, like it goes on forever and you stop caring mm-hmm. or that for Shiki Yugi, when they start dating, there's nothing else going on. Mm-hmm. This would have to be more like Nana in that it just keeps escalating. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll it could be good, it could be bad, but it, there's no like warning signs about I it. I mean, watch it just because. <laughs> All right. All right. Kimi no Tabi, The Beautiful World, the animated series from Studio Lerche. Travels of Kino, an adventurer who. Wait, Kino on a motorcycle, like Kino's this, journey? I was about to say, is this just Kino's journey? But Kino seems to be a dude here. Uh, explore the people and cultures of different places. It's based on a light novel. All right. Is this Kino's Journey or I not? I think it's just Kino's Journey. But we already had Kino's Journey. This is just more Kino's Journey. But it's not... I don't. Is it the same exact thing or is it just a different how could thing it not that's be, super similar? How many Kino on a motorcycle things could there be? I don't know. I don't... But it doesn't, never, it doesn't say sequel to Kino's Journey. Full disclosure, I've never actually seen any of Kino's Journey. I also journey. haven't seen any of Kino's Journey, but I know... I'm pretty sure Kino's Journey is about a girl who rides a motorcycle and it has from the... What I've seen of that, it has this kind of feel, the feel that I get from the Wait, 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 there's this. an important part here. Mm-hmm. The young adventurer who rides a talking motorcycle. Oh. Uh, so it's got some Knight Rider. That's the, I don't think Kino's motorcycle and Kino's journey talk. But at the same time, I'm not 100% sure that it doesn't talk because I've never actually <laughs> seen it. it uh, well, I'm sure someone out there knows the relationship. This, this journey, proves to you that we know nothing about these shows before we're judging them. Kino's journey is one of those shows that every time I see it, just I see it image from it i think that's the kind of show that i feel like i, I think should it's know streaming more about. again right now actually if, but you, I sh- if you want to watch it but i should know more about it and i don't and the last time that happened to me was with master keaton i kept seeing master keaton everywhere a long long time ago and i'd always think that show looks like the kind <laughs> of show i should watch but i didn't watch it when i finally watched it it was a plus mm-hmm. all right so all right kino have a good one on your motorcycle ride all right uq holder does not look good. maho negima. sensei negima it, it's two. negima wait is is, there's a lot of anime with the word Neguma in the title. Yeah. Are you sure that this is the same as the whichever pretty one you're whichever sure, one you're thinking of? Pretty sure we talked about this From in a JC previous staff. Judge Anime by its cover. So first of all, the art on this actually looks bad. I mean, obviously it's better than I can draw, but it looks bad compared to modern anime. It looks it, more like a 90s anime level of quality. Or it looks like fighting game uh, cutscene anime. It definitely looks like, like this Eros Baju. is just like... 
well, look, mediocre it's a fighting look, show. We got witch girl. We got cool guy with sword. We got obviously protagonist. We got mysterious girl with short hair who's actually a badass. Yeah. We got other sword girl. We got uh, knockoff Full Metal Alchemist girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, this is a bleach level show, perhaps even lower, right? You know, yeah. a generic shonen fighting situation. If you're gonna watch one of those shows, I feel like you should watch My Hero Academia and just skip the rest of them. Mm. Anyway. Also known as Green Naruto, apparently. Mm. All right, well, we, we don't need to look at this anymore. Nope. Let's check out Three Gatsu, <laughs> No Lion 2 from Studio Shaft, the second season of Three Gatsu, No Lion. Okay, the the this actually doesn't look bad. Just no. Look, so it. I, though, look at the mustache on that guy. I'm actually right. feeling the show It seems now. like a, it says Slice of Life and Drama. It's based on a manga. That's good, because if it's just Slice of Life, it's always going to be Moe crap. Slice of Life plus Drama. This is giving me the feeling of... Little Witch, not to be confused with Little Witch Academia or whatever, where it's like the rural town, quiet kind of show with cute things and fun characters. We got like this frog faced middle aged woman. We got a realistically drawn cat. We got a little girl who isn't like weirdly sexualized or anything. He's hugging a cat. Yep. Look at those two old guys walking in from the left. Those two are going to be our dudes. Yep. Yep. Anyway, this. That guy's got a really bad mustache. This means we can go out right now and watch the first season of Three Gatsu No Lion. So what's the why lion? Where's the lion? I have no idea what any of this is about because anytime there's a sequel, they don't put a description. So yeah. I don't I don't know anything about three no as in no lion one. It's shaft, strive, I could I'll, I I would give this one episode to see what the deal is. I want to find out if that guy with the mustache is voiced by our man. Our man Groucho Marx. <laughs> <laughs> do Shadow. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Uh, all right. Kujira no Kora Wasajo ni Utao. That's way too many genres to be. The only show that's ever pulled off that many genres and succeeded is Escaflone. Mm. Yeah, so there's a million genres listed. There's a mega long description I haven't bothered to read. I'm reading it while you talk. Yeah. Oh my God, there's a lot of proper nouns there. Nigh Utopian Island that floats across the surface of an endless sea of sand. Nine in ten of the inhabitants of the Mud Whale, which is capitalized, the have, mud been, whale? have been black. Blessed and cursed with the ability to use another proper noun, Saima, special powers that doom them to an early death. Death. There's too much going on. This there, show. This is what the, the writing on this thing. I mean, you can tell just from that is a mess. Too many characters, too many genres, too many proper nouns. Darker than black. This is going to be one of those shows where if you start watching it, what's going to happen is you're going to get into it and start wondering about what the mystery is, and you're like, ooh. But what's this the is going to swerve and give and you then ten more mysteries. By the end of the show, you're going to learn nothing. There isn't going to be any. Oh, revealing. what was that number six? The show that did that too. Like, there's ooh, a lot of shows that do that. I wonder that. what's up with this space station. Oh, now what? They have outside. some sort of obscure concept kind of thing going on but then by the end of it I think it was number six where we got into it and then it just kept introducing more crap while not answering questions all right next show next show Boku no Kanojo Gamajime Sugiru Shoujo Bitch Naken. <laughs> All right. Uh, comedy, <laughs> romance, ecchi. Uh, this is a bad show. That this banana is show a dick. Is that bad. banana is a dick. This show is bad. And that girl's bad. afraid of it. And that girl's into it. And that girl's tsundere. This is bad. This is a show for pervs. Do not watch this show unless if you do watch the show oh, and you enjoy the show. Don't even read the description. It is way worse than I expected. You are that guy. Anyone who watches the show and likes it is that guy. Even if they're not a guy, this is bad Chubra show. territory. This, this is, is definitely Chubra territory. It is, you know, sex, schoolgirl, underage, gross garbage. Get this out of here. Let's go to the next one. Oh my God. All right. Juni Tyson Ooh. from Studio Graphinica. 12 warriors are burdened with names of 12 Zodiac members, fight each other's lives, and fight with each other's lives and pride at stake all to grant one wish. Like, dra- like a, Dragon Ball? Is this a tournament? Do these 12 fight down to one? What's the deal? I guess there's 12 interesting characters. It says thriller. It's not a fighting show. Based on the Chinese Zodiac. Well, it says action thriller. Yeah. And I guess they it sort of has a dark mood and they fight each other to see who's going to get a wish granted. But Thing there is, must also be some sort of mystery. Like, ooh, what are they fighting over? The fact that it says thriller... This could, there's a chance this is like they were 11 Mm. in that characters with, and they all have a deal and then there's a meta deal and it's all resolved. I doubt it's going to be that, Mm. but the chance is not zero. However, I'm not willing to roll the dice. This is the kind of thing where I'll ignore it. 
unless someone else says something about it. If I never hear of this again, I'll assume there's nothing there. Yeah, whatever. All right, Love Live, More Sunshine Love Live. 2. It's Love Live. I, if you don't know what Love Live is, it's like some idol crap, right? So people singing and dancing, and there's music, and there's an iPhone game everyone plays. The most recent note I've seen about Love Live on Twitter was someone saying that there is now too much Love Live, even for Love Live people. I think I would, like, I can't even, I guess, uh, how many Love Lives are there? It's At like this point, either... A pile of games, a pile of movies, a pile of animes, a pile of manga. You're either They have live, live action Love Lives. They have, uh, they, I think they even have Love Live you can go see in person like at the theater like like yep. live plays like you know broadway style you're either in love live or you don't give a shit about love live so if you're already love live here's more if you're not d- d- that ship sailed. at least if you're into love live if you like love live animes this seems to be the only one this season so right. you could just watch all the animes at least that shouldn't be too hard to keep up with for you love live peoples all right Dia or Dia For a second, I thought that Horizon. said Da Horizon. So this is from Square Enix, and it looks like Final Fantasy. Eh. And it says it's a multimedia project by Square Enix titled Dia Horizon. That's the, bad news. Multimedia project the usually The first means, part will be a TV anime. Yep. Usually means mediocre anime coupled with shitty game on a phone coupled with some other Well, property. I mean, even Square Enix's normal Final Fantasy stuff these days is crap. Yep. So, I mean, what's the last good new thing Square Enix did? I was about to say Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> seven? <laughs> seven? Six, seven? You know, I, I, may, I make that joke, but seven was not a bad game. I actually did enjoy it's seven. Okay. Eight, it's okay. It's not didn't. as good as six, but nah. I would, it's hard to say which ones Four, are bad. Final Fantasy IV. Right. The point is, this is, I mean, if you're a Square Enix type of person who loves Square Enix stuff, congratulations. You must be super thrilled this is coming out. I just feel like Square Enix is going down the road of just being what X was to those kinds of people. Right, but if you're not a person who's super in love with Square Enix and anything they do, then this is just more of the crap that they do. I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, but it is interesting. I haven't seen them do anime first recently, right? True. Not, not since, you know, or if they Final did, Fantasy I didn't know. Crystal Warriors. Uh, Crystal Warriors. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> All right. Imoto Se Irebali is from Silverlink Studio and follows the everyday life of a novelist and modern day Pygmalion. Pygmalion. Who, Pygmalion, Pygmalion, whatever, who works to create the ultimate younger sister. Uh, it was looking so good for a yeah. second. Yeah. And then not. Surrounded by a beautiful genius writer who loves him, a big sisterly classmate from college, a fellow male writer, a statistic sales accountant, blah, blah, blah. Comedy romance, but romance with the younger sister that you're building. Warning signs, I'll avoid. It's based on a light novel. Warning signs. I mean, the imagery didn't look bad, but that description just killed Because this could have been like Wreck. Who knows what this could have been like? Wreck was pretty good. But the, the thing is that really... And I'd say Wreck every, is in the same genre and is a similar... Everything here seemed okay until I read the description. And, I, I mean, wonder if any of you... Anything even, with younger sister and it can't be good. If you think this... If you're interested in this at all, just watch Wreck, which you've probably never heard of because it's pretty old at this point. And... We'll ignore this until we're sure that there's no sister problems. Yeah, I think it has sister problems. I feel like it has All sister right. problems. Osama Game, the animation. Is this going to be 12 Doors, 12 From Deaths, Studio 12 7. Is this ba- 999? Is this, it could be one of those. Oh, it's one of those. 32 people receive a message on their cell phone from the person uh, known only as King. It's one of those where there's some sort of scenario that someone says. You're all up. locked in a warehouse, and here's the rules to escape. It's Saw Light in anime. Based on other, what, what what's this based on? I don't know what it's based on. It's based Studio on Studio Seven, Seven Doors, Seven Dollars, Seven Guns. Yeah, well, it's it's Nine 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 was the the first game, and then what was the other games? I forget. I'd- but there's, you know, Battle Royale is, I think, one of the first ones to do yep. this formula. There's a bunch of visual you know, novels. Even that are Hunger going Games this follows world. this formula. Yeah. It's like, oh, th- people are trapped in some sort of scenario concocted by someone in some sort of psychological game. They there's must only two play. ways to go with that kind of show. There's the. Uh, the what? Eden, Eden of the East. Eden of the East Eden of the is East. not one of those. No, no. So Eden of the East has sets up the same kind of scenario, just like Death Note did. Mm. Like, here's a bunch of rules. We're going to explore them. But then there's Death a Note story. Death Note does have hints of that also. But there's a story that follows. This is the other kind where the scenario 
is the story. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, if you're into those, here's the one this season. If you're not, skip it. These tend to be horrifically violent. All right. So. Uh, Yuki Yuna Wayusha. Magical girl. Dearu Yusha. <laughs> no show. Ooh. Sequel of Yuki Yuna <laughs> Wayusha Dearu. Douche Karoru. It's a magical girl show. Yep. If you need a magical girl show... There's one coming out this season too. Every kind of anime comes out every season. However, this whatever the kind of anime you're into is, you can bet that every season there will be at least one show up your alley. We haven't seen a Magical Girl show yet. Here it is. However, I want to point out there are two kinds of Magical Girl shows. One Magical Girl and a cast of supporting girls and a bunch of girls are all equal. This is the latter kind, This I is a bunch of girls. There's got to be one that's probably more the main girl. That yeah. there always is. But listen... Before you watch this, make sure you've seen Madoka Magica, an actual good magical girl and, show. Uh, frankly, because this probably not a good one. And frankly, Sailor Moon. Yeah. Sailor Moon's not bad. Make sure before you go watching Gennaro magical girl shows, make you see, make sure you oh, watch. Oh, and I gotta be real, girl real first. I gotta be crystal clear when I say Sailor Moon. I mean Sailor Moon, not Sailor Moon Crystal. Right, I've never heard of Studio Gokumi either. So nah, who watch at your own risk. All right. Shoujo Shu Civiliz- Ryoko. Civilization is dead. Post-apocalypse. Oh, but these, these two people are still alive, and they get on a motorcycle. What's up with motorcycles this season? This is motorcycle season in the fall. All the Japanese... Is uh, this Wind of Amnesia? Anime, all, in the fall, all the Japanese anime creators just dream of riding their bikes through the countryside, and so that's what they make anime out of, because they have to Wait, sit wait, 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 wait. For two girls in a world full of nothing, the experience and feelings the two share give them something to live for. Mm-hmm. Slice of life, sci-fi, adventure. It seems like this is going to focus a lot more at manga. This might be good. This looks like it's going to focus on two girls in a post-apocalyptic world and the sort of procedural, like, how do they survive day by day? I think there's also going to be a lot, like, they're on this motorcycle, but if you look at the picture, it looks like a crazy it looks world, like a, right? Yeah. With lots of our favorite precursor stuff. I was about to about, say, this has got precursor I technology. I think unless they're not going to, if they, they might encounter other characters, you know, they, they have to, but they're probably going to be weird and not normal, yep. right? But there's going to be a lot of discovering the setting as you go through the episodes, which so could be interesting if it's done well, but it could be done poorly. There's an old anime movie that is not like this. Like I'm not even going to say watch it, but Wind of Amnesia was post-apocalypse precursor technology presented through st- environmental storytelling. Mm. Wind of Amnesia is bad, and it has a, and basically it's just build up for a long sex scene. Okay. So I'm not saying you should watch it, <laughs> but that's news to me. I'm kind of. You've never seen it? No. We should review it. Actually. Or have maybe I have. You probably did. It was on Sci-Fi. I don't remember. I saw it was in every blockbuster. Oh, well, you know, maybe this one has potential. I'm feeling this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch the first episode. Well, we'll see. Let's go on. All right, Sare do Sumibito wa Ryu to Odoro from Studio Seven Arcs, action drama fantasy oh sci-fi God. based on a light novel. It looks like generic pretty boys fighting. Uh, but it's also got that situation of million proper nouns. The mm. story revolves around Jushiki. Ooh. The equations that govern the quantum constant H of action change the laws of physics, give birth to TNT and poison gas to Jushikishi, who use Jushiki in battle are Gaius with a capital G, cruel sword wheel. Okay. So basically, these two people are going to are, are gonna be your badass heroes who fight. and They, they are proper and, noun wielders who fight other different proper noun wielders in the it city It seems like they fight noun. dragons. Oh, all right. That's one of the things that'll get me to watch your show, but proper nouns, I'm done with that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, there you go. If you need some fighting, watch one of the previous animes with fighting, not this one. This one's way down on the list. All right. Hosuke no Kuni. So the art style looks amazing. From yeah. Studio Orange. Let's see what the description says. Wait, this is Steven Universe. A new life form called Gems are born. <laughs> <laughs> the 28 Hoseki must fight against the moon dwellers who want to attack them and turn them into decorations? Thus, each gem is assigned a role as so fighter or medic. They hope to fight the moon dwellers. Fos is a gem. I guess the main character is one of the gems, given no assignment. Oh, that's the ma- that's the, that, be- the best yep. gem is that one, right? I'm generic. The I can super, do anything. The super powerful one. Uh, Until the gem's master asked them to edit a natural history magazine. What? <laughs> so... I'm already getting a please save my earth vibe in that the show will have a lot of weird crap going on. I just want to, I want to see this just for the art style alone. Yeah. Look at that guy in the upper right. I'm feeling him. I think that's the master adamantine. That's gotta be adamantine. I'm feeling this. Everyone else has crazy different hair colors, all the different gems and he's bald. This feels like one of those manga that's kind of in a genre on its own is weird. 
turned into an anime. I kind of want to read this manga. I can't say for sure what the deal's going to be, but I feel like I got to see one. I got to know. Or see the manga. I got to know what the deal is. Right? Because this is too different from other things I've seen. I'm into this. All right. Uh, Hosuke no Kuni uh, got some positive things going from yeah. us. Let's keep going. Code Realized. Top is that guy. related to Code Geus? It's based on a video game. Uh, Sose no Himegimi. It's in the Lupin the Third Universe. Is it really? Because Cardia meets Arsene Lupin, the chivalrous thief who I helps her I don't think escape. it's actual Lupin the Third. Oh, no. I think that they're trying to attach themselves to... The, no, because Lupin the Third is canonically the like third generation from the original Arsene Lupin. It's not canonical. Yeah, it is. Arsene Lupin is in the public domain. Anyone can abscond with him into oh, their yeah. story. No, I'm saying this show, in this universe, Lupin will be canonical. In the Lupin universe, this is not canonical. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, there's someone who carries deadly poison that rots or melts anything skin touches. So an alien from, yeah. from Aliens, like Sigourney Weaver style. Uh, yeah, she soon finds herself on a journey with Lupin to locate her father who holds the answers to her mysterious condition. Based on a video game, not feeling it. Nope. All right. Uh, Blend S. Uh, the story, a girl named who gets Tsundere, a job at a cafe. little sister. Nope. Nope. A, a, they make her the waitress. extreme sadist nope. waitress. Nope. Uh, nope. Capital N. Capital O. To the P to the E. Capital P-E. E. Nope. Do not watch. Though it does seem less bad than the one with the banana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. But it's still bad. Don't watch this. All right. Huzuki no Reitetsu 2, Studio Dean. It's the second season of Huzuki no Reitetsu, which, I feel which like is a I, manga. This looks, I don't know. I mean, based on the images, it doesn't seem like this is bad. It seems like maybe, this, is there cooking going on or fishing? Like what? It looks it, supernatural fantasy comedy. On one hand, I'm kind of feeling it, but then on the other hand, I don't remember hearing anything about the yeah, first season. It seems season? to have some traditional Japanese styling. Why going didn't on. I watch the first season? Did I just not notice it? I don't know, but uh, this might be something. It might not be something. I'm going to investigate the first season to see if anyone said anything. Yeah, so we can't. We actually can't judge this very well based on the information available. It's it's even too sparse for that. But uh, it doesn't seem super bad. There's nothing right. So. Yeah. We had to investigate this one further. It's I guess we'll put uh, I guess TBD. Yep. To be determined. All right. Uh, Netju no Susume. The net? Do they mean internet? Moriko Morioka. Nice uh, alliteration. Is a thirty-year-old single neat no, woman. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's a bunch of people trapped in a game online. I guess. I've seen that like a thousand times. Uh, and I guess. This is giving you this neat woman fantasy for the fanboys. Meanwhile, in the real world, a shocking encounter with a good-looking elite company employee, mysterious blah. Eh. Yeah. Uh, this is this a fantasy for fanboys who are like, oh my god, this neat woman who lives on the internet inside a video game, or is it a fantasy for actual neat woman who could, oh my god, I met the beautiful businessman? It's a comedy. The only way this show is good is if it's actually making fun of the genre of we have an MMO that people are trapped in. Uh, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that either. I think it is that genre. Anyway, continue. Konohana Kitan. This cat girl. Moe looking. Uh, cat girl. This fox cat, girl. There cat are, girl. Fox. There, there are animal Foxes. Pe- there are animal people which could with be good or bad. ears their foxes are definitely foxes. they're wearing kimonos it's one of those they it's a, something about a hot spring hotel portrays the lives of fox spirits who take the form of girls and work at the hotel this is going to edge into perverted territory this is studio lurch we've seen their name already this season what was the other show they did? i already forgot i don't know slice of this show's not looking good no we don't need another one of these animes like a thousand of them all right osumatsu san too if you like if you're in, if you've watched this and are into it, there's more. Uh, you probably don't want to watch this if you haven't watched Osumatsu San One. I meant to watch it, but it just never got quite high enough in the queue. I watched a couple episodes, but like I've heard way good things about it. It seems way good. It gave me the same level of satisfaction that like early Urusei Yatsura does. Mm-hmm. Like that kind of vibe. That it definitely kind of has that kind of Urusei Yatsura Ranma One Half kind of vibe. Yeah. Right, you know, there's a group of people all living together in a place, but yep. it's not a it's not a harem situation. It's a, just a, a everyday living. Here is Greenwood kind of situation, yeah. right? And here's another season of this because I guess it was so popular. Good job, Osamatsu san I watched season one at some point. All right, congratulations, like all the way. Congratulations, Osamatsu san fans. You got more. All right, 
Garo, vanishing lock. Darker than black. <laughs> <laughs> this could actually be a darker than black. Russell's capital proper noun, proper noun. The keyword El Dorado is his El, only clue. El Dorado. El Dorado. Sword someone, is capitalized. Someone riding a motorcycle with a sword. Going on an adventure to sword, no, the find man. the mystery no, no, of no. El Dorado. There is a man named Sword. Oh. Oh. Saw a conspiracy to shake the world. It I, seems like a darker, worse Durarara. And also the poster looks like a three wolf moon, only it's a four anime character moon. I, I hate to see, keep There's saying. There's actually a moon on it. I hate to keep saying over and over again that shows look like Darker Than Black because I didn't even watch up past two episodes of Darker Than Black. <laughs> I bet, you, could, like I bet dark... you if I turned on Darker Than Black right now, you wouldn't even know that that's what it was. I feel like I would because Darker <laughs> Than Black had that wall. <laughs> And you, you keep, using, you keep using that anime, that random anime that no one gives a shit about. Because this is going to be the as random anime. your ex- comparison for all other anime. If I started doing uh, Judge Anime by its cover this year with this show, I would call every show that's like that Garo Vanishing line. <laughs> okay. Darker than black. Yeah, that's a Garo Vanishing line. Anyway. Yeah. All right, Gintama. If an- you like the dick si- jokes. The sixth season? This show's been going on that long. When's you- it, when is it going to end? Never. This is the Ranma one half of dick jokes. This is like the Ranma one half of 20, the 2010s. Have you ever watched Gintama? Like one episode. You Isn't it like aliens are hanging out with normal people somewhere? <laughs> so that, the main character guy, imagine like a Spike Spiegel kind of knockoff type. Mm-hmm. And he's a shithead and everyone around him's a shithead and they get into shithead trouble. Mm-hmm. It's really funny. Yeah, I know. I know it's really funny. Uh. The, <laughs> if you like dick jokes, <laughs> the show is up your alley. I, th- I thought I also had aliens though. Yeah, alien jokes, dick jokes, alien dick jokes, oh. space battle jokes. Oh. The rocket ship is space like it's shaped <laughs> like a dick. All right, all right. I guess there's a reason to get six seasons. It also does pretty high concept parody of other anime. Mm, I mean, you got so many episodes. Eventually, you got to do something, right, to yep. milk the to milk the cow. There have right. been some episodes that felt Seinfeldian. Mm-hmm. Definitely the Seinfeld of anime. I don't watch this show. Like, don't shotgun this show. But like, pick a random episode and just watch it with no context. It's almost better that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anime guitarist. Yes, the word anime is in the name of the anime. Wow, it's world. Studio Wow World, but Wow is capital W, capital A, capital O. Wow World. Uh, a high school student. Anime research club at a high school. But it's not going to be as good as Genshi Ken. Nope. Right? So, Won't even be good, as good as Maho Ma- Skytai, which has the manga club. Right. So, or um, what's it called? The, what's the one with the... The one? The anime with the The one thing? with the time traveling and the alien and the, the one girl. She's looking for supernatural stuff, but she's the only oh, one. Oh, Haruhi? Yeah. Haruhi... Is not about that. No, but they're in a they're in a club, right? In a school. No, they're not in a meta club about anime in a school. No, they're in a supernatural yeah. society. No, no, no. Right? This is this is more like meta show about anime. Uh, eh. All right. Anyway, still, not still, into it. Not also, it. the description mentions a hot springs yet again. It's like the third hot springs mentioned. But they're gonna the talk about the sacred hot springs anime settings. Mm, anyway, uh, Sengoku Nightblood. <laughs> Based on a video game, Warring States period, romance, fantasy, I those characters look super generic. That pretty boy, pretty that boy, boys fighting. One of those boys has fought. Do they all have fox ears? No, one has elf ears. Anyway, pretty boys fighting. There you go. Yep. You know, Saint Seiya only way worse. Way worse. Based on a video game, it might just be a cutscene like Eric's Vaju. It could be just a cutscene. Studio Typhoon Graphics. That sounds like a company that made video game cutscenes. I was tricked by that with Eric's Vaju. Now I know better. Anyway. All right. There you go, Nightblood. Two car. Studio Silver Sequel Lake. to one car. <laughs> a ri- it's an original anime. Two, two girls involved in competitive motorcycle sidecar racing. Oh, two car. Okay. You know, oh, but it says it's commemorating the 10th anniversary of the Silverlink Studio. You know what this is? This is one of the, someone at Silverlink Studio, probably the people in charge, yep. are way into sidecar racing, and it's their studio's anniversary, so they're making the anime that they just want to make, even if it makes no goddamn money and no one cares about it. It's just like their labor of love. They were just, re- someone there is really into this, or maybe multiple of the people working at the studio are way into this. That so, could mean. So they're going to make this show. That could mean. It could be okay, because it's a lo- it's a labor of love so it's focused more on satisfying the creators as opposed to the audience it, i mean good or bad this will be unique and probably short because there's probably no money behind it whatsoever yep. 
But it's a thing. And there's no warning signs. Yeah, no. So I guess, you know, maybe it'll be interesting. Or just like the really obscure, kind of awesome thing that only inside anime people know about. Yeah, like that bike racing. Like a, like a take the X train level of obscurity, Ooh. right? Uh, I was thinking about like, what was that, Andalusa, the, the bike racing thing? Oh, uh, summer in Andalusa? Yeah, like that. Or autumn, whatever it was. Whatever Some it season, was. yeah, anyway. All right. Robo Masters, the animated series. Well, oh, so this is actually what this is. Yo, you know something about this. All right, so it's, you know, DJI is the company that makes drones that you can buy. They're the number oh, one drone company, this right? This is an ad. They have a competition, much like what Bot Battle or whatever it was way back in the day, mm -hmm. where you would make little robots and put them in the arena and they would fight. So this is an anime about kids who make robots that fight each other. This is an ad. And it's sponsored by DJI, the drone company, to get kids to be into robot battling because there's a real RoboMasters competition that exists, which is the current incarnation of Make a Robot and Make It Fight. So they're trying to get kids into that and also, you know, spread the word that it exists and also sell drones and robot parts. I don't need to watch an ad. So I guess they're hoping Japanese kids get into making robots and fighting them. Just what was that thing called in the American version of this way back in the battle day? Battle bots? Or was something? it battle bots? I, don't I forget remember. what it was called, but you know what we're talking about, right? Anyway, uh, Suki Pro, the animation. It's a music anime. Huh. A so drama for Suki. Following Pro. what looks like a boy band. Is Su I, I get the feeling I don't know anything about this, so I'm just guessing that Suki Pro is an existing real world music company, and they have <laughs> idol groups. Right, that exists yep. in Japan. Yeah, called... it's going to follow four different groups and their deals. Right, so there are four m boy idol groups, four boy bands, and this is an anime about the four different boy brands that belong to the Suki Pro studio, right? Oh, uh, no one's going to be into this unless they're into the music outside of yeah, the anime if you're, fandom. If you're into J-pop boy band groups, idol groups, and you're into the ones that are from Suki Pro, this is an anime version of... You know, giving you uh, instead of having those actual boys do anything yeah, and making yeah, TV yeah, yeah. shows, just animate those four boys doing stuff like performing and preparing and making up fiction behind the scenes for fangirls to you know to be like, ooh, I'm not watching this. Obviously, you're not into J-pop boy bands, but I guess if you were, you, this would be for you. All right. Idolmaster. Oh, wait. Oh, oh never mind. Bef the other one we oh, saw. Oh, my God. It is based on. Wasn't the other one we saw was Love Live. Yeah, this, this is Idolmaster. This is Idolmaster, which is not the same thing. But I want to point out. But this... it might as well be the same thing as far as I'm concerned. Sorry, people. Quote, I'm sure everyone's going to be so mad that I said Idolmaster was the same thing as Love Live, but eat it. Based on the Idolmaster app. The Idolmaster Side M app, which is the male version. You can see by the pictures, all dudes. Just like we had... Um, uh, what was the one? We had Tokimeki Memorial. Yeah, and then we had Girl Side. Yeah, it was Girl Side, so it was boys you were dating. This is the opposite of Idol Master. Where it's Do you all... need more Love Live? You can watch this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right. Urahara. The art looks way good. It's looking cute. Three high schools putting together a limited time shop called Par It's Harajuku. It's definitely a Harajuku style thing. Mysterious girl appears. Three girl band. Three girls band together to defeat an alien threat. This would be super awesome if this, it, was, it was like a one-shot deal. This already reminds me a little bit of like a Nea Under 7, like weird aliens come down, stuff happens. Right, but I mean, visually, you get the Harajuku style. You get Harajuku girls fighting wacky aliens. You get a very uh, Takashi Murakami. Oh, the aliens look ridiculous. Right, it really gives you Takashi Murakami kind of feel. Yeah. Not Haruki Murakami, no. the author. Takashi Murakami, the artist. <laughs> right, it really feels like his kind of thing. A studio I've never heard of, Shirogumi. Oh, I guess if you're into that style, that you know, yeah. that aesthetic. Plus then, the then alien this fighting. Show, this show is for you. I feel like the alien fighting will be weird. Like, uh, what was that? The anime that spoiled after the credits. Oh, uh, I forget what that was called. I forget what that was called too. I know exactly what you're talking that's about. That's how though. old we are. Yeah, but I mean, this is definitely an anime. For alien you. Nine. That's right? what it was. Yeah, alien yeah. Nine for a particular aesthetic. If you're into that aesthetic, the show's for you. If not, then not. I mean, I'm a little bit into that. So yeah, but I mean, Alien Nine went a little darker body horror. I feel like this will go the opposite and be more lighthearted and crazy. This is going to be lighthearted and crazy till the end for sure. All I right. would watch this maybe. All right, Itsudate Bokura no Koi wa ten centimeters. Ten centimeters data. Adolescent, Not 10 centimeters per second. No. Adolescent romance, 
TV Vocaloid, anime. series of Vocaloid songs. I just don't care. Oh, uh, it's a, vo- it's a Vocaloid thing? Vocaloid nonsense. All right, sure. I guess Vocaloids are going to date each other or something. Anime adaptation based on a series of Vocaloid songs. Songs? I mean, I like a Vocaloid now and then, but I'm not going to watch I don't anime like, about it. I don't like Vocaloid fan crap. I just like Vocaloid software and music. Yeah. All right. Skipping. All right. Infinity Force. Oh, look at that guy. So a full... Look at that guy in the throne. Studio Tatsunoko. Full 3D CG anime project to celebrate the 55th anniversary. So it's a weird numbered anniversary. It's not a super round number. So they're not pulling out all the stops like they would in a 50th or 100th anniversary, right? But basically combines all sorts of Tatsunoko stuff. I see Ultraman there or this ga- gotcha, gonna be, gotcha Mans or whatever. If, if you're into this kind of crap, this is going to be just candy for your brain. Yeah, sorry, Tatsunoko fans. Like, I appreciate Tatsunoko, but I don't remember which crazy super-powered guys. Yep. Like, is Kamen Rider Tatsunoko? I don't know. The only question is, will this be entertaining in its own right, or will it only be entertaining to Tatsunoko fans? This is for Tatsunoko fanboys who will... Bring this up at some panel they do at an anime con ten years from now, and say, yep. "Oh, did you know about Infinity Force, the the, the special th- CG that they did in the 55th anniversary? Check out these hilarious clips from it." Here's my advice: if you are already a Tatsunoko fan, definitely watch this. Obviously, if you're a Tatsunoko fan, you're probably so mad at us right now, but we we like Tatsunoko stuff. Don't be hating on us if, just because we don't know enough about it. If you are not sure that you like Tatsunoko stuff. This is not the thing to introduce you to Tatsunoko. This is for people who are already into it. Go watch something adjacent to Tatsunoko, like Giant Robo. Like, it's not, but it's in the same, like, broader Go ask actual Tatsunoko fanboys what you should be watching. Yeah. Or watch something adjacent to find it. Because if you don't like Giant Robo and, like, the stuff that's peripheral to this, you're definitely not going to like Tatsunoko. Just watch, like, the original Gotcha Man or something, right? Anyway. Uh, uh, But, yeah, let's keep going. Wake up, girls. Uh oh. Shin Show. Studio Millipenzi. The new anime will feature pre- pre- the previous Wake Up Girls group members, but also add new characters. Music show, music slice of life nonsense. It's eh. some idol girl group situation. They're the Wake Up Girls. They wake you up if you're uh, whatever. You're either already into the stuff this is servicing or you don't care. Yeah, I mean, the the K-On at least seems better than this, right? K-On could be, like, there's you could at enjoy least, that. There's at least something going on with the kind of K-On kind of show. I feel like K-On you could this, enjoy. This kind of show is just like, no, nope, we're just appealing to those people. Yep. You've got to already be into the crap that this is based on. Mm-hmm. All right. Classicaloid 2, the second season of Classicaloid from Sunrise. I see a hippopotamus wearing a shirt. I don't know what Classicaloid is. It got a second season. Is it related to Vocaloid? It's, it has to be. It's it's got to be. It's music. I'm it gonna, is music. If I didn't, or if I wasn't a cynical, but it also jerk, for the imagery seems crazy, like a you know, like a, a wacky show, almost an eccentric family kind of wacky. Or like Arakawa under the bridgey bridgey nonsense. That definitely that kind of wackiness is what's at play. But I worry, based on my knowledge, that this is not good and it's just Vocaloidy fan crap. So I'm just going to pretend I'm going to ignore this. I don't know, but we have to see what Classical Lloyd 1 is about. Yeah, but I don't. I worry that that imagery is a trap. Yeah. All right. Anyway. All right. Dynamic. What's all these music shows here? D- Studio Pero again. Dynamic Chord. The musical careers and personal lives of several bands under the Dynamic Chord Agency and music label. Yeah. Is this just competition for the one, the what, yeah. Suki Pro one? Definitely. It's the same thing as the Suki Pro show, only someone different. So, guys, if you want a show that follows the drama of, like, musicians... Watch Nana. Yeah, Nana is going to be way better. Because Nana's about a fictional band and fictional people. I guess someone out there is a super J-pop boy band fan who really loves all the boy bands that are under the Dynamic Chord music label, in which case this anime is for you. Otherwise, You could replace not. the heads of all four of those characters and it would look fine. You could have switched this with the Suki Pro image and you wouldn't know. <laughs> yep. Uh, I guess there's people out there. I wonder if there's like a battle between Dynamic Chord and Suki Pro. Are they like warring agencies? I'm curious if anyone watching this video cares at all about either of them. I mean, <laughs> write it in the comments. <laughs> all right, Time Bokan. Kids show? It is a kids show. I know all about Time Bokan. Well, yep. I don't know all about Time Bokan, but I know Time Bokan is one of those action kids shows, yep. right? Sort of like 
uh, Metabots kind of level, yeah. right? It's for elementary school kids, right? It's sort of wacky, uh, sort of like... Um, if you're in America, you're American, and you want to watch anime... It's okay to go find sort of like, like Yokai Watch, yeah, right. It's on that level below Pokemon. Too young for Pokemon, like just one step under that. You're better off watching an older, more vetted classic kids show than a recent one because a classic kids show is like has some staying power for some reason. Yeah, but anyway, Time Bokan is like the current show that kids are into in Japan. Sort of like not. I don't think it's as big as Yokai Watch, but it's been around for a while. Yeah. So there you go. All right, let us now move on to the final anime. It's always a card fight vanguard. Card fight vanguard, G colon Z. So every time we do this, for some reason, there's always a card fight vanguard anime. No one in America gives a crap about this. So what nope. it is, there's a collectible card game that's in Japan that you, I think you can get some of it in English, but you don't want to. I see people like occasionally playing it. It's, it's weird. Be- it's better than some of the other Japanese collectible card games, but it is not a good game. I guess it's, be- it's like better than Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's not even as good as Magic the Gathering. It's not hard to be better than Yu-Gi-Oh. Right? It's not even as good as like Hearthstone. You don't want to play this thing, but it's for Japanese kids to play, right? So it always has an anime. This is the fifth season of the anime Oh, no, this is the fifth season of Card Fight Vanguard G. I'm pretty sure there's other non Card Fight Vanguard G animes. There's probably Card Fight Vanguard without a G animes. But this is Card Fight Vanguard G Z. So what's they, next? They ran out of just Wait, Z. So what's next? Uh, what's next? Other H is next? H A? I don't know where. And also. Or G A A? I don't know where this is going. But the point is, there's always a Card Fight Vanguard anime every season. Kids in Japan must be into it. You don't need to worry about it. Just let it go. And frankly, if you're the kind of person who watches the card fight anime in the U.S. and is into the game, bless your heart, and I'm glad you found something you love, but don't tell me about it. No. Please don't tell me about it. All right, so that concludes uh, this first time we've done this strictly as a yeah. video. Which will be interesting, because you might know, if you've seen us do this at Anime Boston in the past, we usually have a big audience, and like the audience's reactions, because some of them have seen more about these anime than we have, has informed us more so we're running completely blind yeah we don't have an audience here telling us what we're what we're doing wrong maybe we live stream and get some chat in on it it'll be true but uh anyway so what i want everyone out there to do is a when this anime season is over where the fall 2017 anime season is over i want you to go back and tell us if you watch any of these shows tell us how close was our judgment to the reality of that anime were we way wrong or way right we want to yep. keep a scorecard because we're going to do this four times a year for each season but scott uh, car- card fight vanguard gz is the best anime of the season i also want you to post in the comments telling us anything we got wrong about yep. any of these animes because you know we got tons of stuff wrong and you're so mad right now you probably already posted in the comments you don't need me to tell you that but one of our videos i need to know because if you're just mad i need to know we did this at uh, Anime Boston, like one that got picked, like Reddit, like there's a crazy thread about it, and there were some butter people in there. Right. Uh, and then I want you to stay tuned because we're going to, if this gets a lot of views or whatever, we're going to do it again for the winter season. This is the fall season of 2017. We're going to do winter season, and if that works out well, we're going to do spring season and keep going. So uh, we got to thank, I guess, Annie Chart, Anime Chart website. Yep. Is it AnimeChart.net or AnnieChart.net? Go to Google and search for Anime Chart. There's the one. You'll know when you see it. It's the one good website with the Anime Chart on it that tells you all the anime that are coming out that season. And that is the site that makes this possible. Whoever runs that site, great work. Keep it up. Thank you. And uh, I will give at least once, not we'll every give you, time. We're linking to you in the description. But I'll also right? give a shout out to Anime Boston because they basically let us try this the first time in a giant panel room that basically completely filled. And we didn't know how it would go. Mm-hmm. And it went really, really well. And if Anime Boston hadn't given us that opportunity, probably wouldn't have bothered with any of this. All right. So enjoy your fall 2017 anime season. We will see you when it's too cold.